Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a tanning routine for you. This is a fully cruelty-free tanning routine. I've done tanning routines in the past. Some of them were not cruelty-free back before I switched and I'm always trying out new tanning products and trying to find the best ones to share with you guys. So I'm super excited to be working with Tanceuticals in this video. They are a certified cruelty-free self-tanning company and I really love that they are certified because it's very hard to find find self tanners that are actually certified cruelty free because they actually have the little logo right here so it makes it so much easier if you guys are looking for a new self tanning product that is certified cruelty free this is the one for you I have gotten so many compliments on this tan already. I really, really love the color of it. It's so even and it actually is very moisturizing because this is a lotion rather than a mousse. So it's so easy for everybody to use and I just love how it looks. I'm really, really excited for this product. They also have them in different colors. They have a self tan prep, uh, maintenance, and then also one specifically for your face. So there's a bunch of different things. I'm using a few of those in this video today. So I'll be going over that very soon. So if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below this video down there and let's go ahead and get into my tanning routine the first thing before you start your whole tanning routine is to either shave your legs or wax them I do both it really just depends on how I'm feeling so just make sure you do that it's gonna go on a lot smoother if you have freshly shaved legs or wax legs I would recommend doing this like the day before so that your skin gets a little bit of time to heal especially if you wax your legs so so after your legs have been waxed or shaved, you can go ahead and exfoliate. Exfoliating is a very important step in a self tanner. It makes sure that your tan goes on very evenly and it's not going to cling to all of the rough dry patches of your skin. So it's really important to make sure that you get all of that off. So I will be using the skin exfoliator from Tanceuticals. It's called Pre-Tan Exfoliator and this is for prepping. It's a very important step, like I said. So it's very nice that they actually have it all included. It's kind of like a one-stop shop for self-tanning. It smells so good too. And it's a really, really great exfoliator. It's super gentle as well. It's not gonna feel like you're scrubbing your skin off. I know some exfoliators are super harsh, so this is actually really nice. You could use this literally all the time even if you're not planning on tanning. You'll wanna focus most of the exfoliator on areas like your elbows, your knees, maybe the tops of your feet or ankles because those are the areas of your skin that are going to be a lot more dry and rough. So those are typically the areas where the self tanner likes to cling to and that's why you can get some of those really dark spots like on your elbows or knees. So it's just really important to make sure all of that skin is very soft and exfoliated. This has naturally exfoliating apricot powder and skin soothers like acai berry and vitamin E that will leave your skin feeling smooth and ready for self tanner. It also has the famous Tanceutical coconut scent, which is so true. That is one thing about these products is they smell amazing. Even the self tanner smells so good. And then of course, after that step, you can go ahead and apply your self tanner. This should be done on completely dry skin. So you can exfoliate even the night before as well if you want to, and then just start with dry skin like the next day. So of course I will be using the Tanceutical self tanning body lotion. I have mine in the shade dark and it is so beautiful guys. Like. Oh my God, I would recommend using a mitt and they do of course sell those as well. So I just apply a little bit onto the mitt at a time. I like to work in pretty small sections. So I'd say I would apply maybe like just a bit larger than a quarter size amount onto the mitt and then I will start working. You can do it any way you want. I usually just start at the top. So I will start around my chest area, making sure that I blend it all the way up into my neck and the back of my neck and over my shoulders. And every time I move on to like a new body part, like my arms, I will do about the same amount each time. And maybe I'll work all around the very tops of my arms and then apply a little bit more to work around the bottoms of my arms. Another important thing to remember is to use the self tanner very sparingly on the areas that tend to be more dry. Like I was talking about your elbows, your knees, your ankles, and your feet are usually a lot more dry than the rest of your body. So I don't apply any like fresh tanner to those areas. I will usually use whatever is left over on my mitt and I'll kind of pat it around my elbows or my knees just so that I make sure it's getting a really, really light layer of tanner. So they're not gonna be completely white. Like I didn't add anything there and it's just gonna go on a little bit more evenly because they do tend to absorb that self tanner a little bit more and can go a little bit darker. I blend 
everything in in a circular motion around my entire body. Like I said, every time I move to a new body part, I'll add about a quarter size amount to the mitt again and just rub it in in a circular motion everywhere so that I make sure everything is super blended. Now, since this is a tanning lotion, most lotions don't have a tan guard, so this product does not have a tan guard. Tan guards are when they add that bronzing color into it just so that you can see exactly where the color is, which is not always the greatest because it can rub off really easily onto clothes or your sheets, especially if you are sleeping in a self tanner. I usually just like to do it in the morning and then wait throughout the day so that I can shower like later at night. I actually really like that it doesn't have a tan guard because it's not going to rub off onto clothes immediately. Or if you like to sleep in the self tanner, it's not going to get all over your sheets because of the lack of a tan guard. So that's actually really nice. It actually has a little bit of a sheen so you can see exactly where the self tanner was applied. Just kind of like a regular lotion, you can see exactly where it was applied. If it looks dry, then you should probably add a little bit more. I didn't have any of that orangey, like streaky self tanner look when I was wearing it throughout the day. You could literally go out and do whatever you need to do during the day and not worry that you look like a weird streaky self tanned mess. <laughs> the color looked super natural as it was developing. It looked great. And another thing that I was really pleasantly surprised about when I used it is that it doesn't have that really gross, strong self tanner smell. It smells so fresh and tropical. Like it actually smelled very good. This also has acai berry, mango butter, and vitamin E to moisturize, repair, and firm your skin. They do have one specifically for your face. It's called the Self Tanning Face Lotion. I also have it in dark. It smells like that beautiful coconut tropical scent as well, and it felt very moisturizing on my skin. I didn't have any issues with using it on my face, and it gave a very nice even color. The face lotion also has acai berry and argan oil and vitamin E to moisturize dries, repair, and firm your skin as well. So once I have applied the self tanner everywhere, I wait a few minutes and then I will just get dressed like normal and go about the rest of my day. You are supposed to wear this for at least seven to eight hours, which is why most people like to sleep in their self tanner, which is perfectly fine as well. It didn't feel sticky at all, which was another reason why this is literally like my new favorite self tanner. It felt like I was just applying a regular lotion everywhere. So it was very moisturizing. I didn't feel uncomfortable at all. Tanceuticals also has a post tan product. This is the everyday tan extender to maintain your tanner. You can use this every single day after you tan. It has a little bit of DHA in it, which is the product that actually tans your skin. It would be really perfect to bring on vacation as well so that you could just add it every single day to keep that tan. So it's not fading while you're there and not looking like you went there tan and you came back pale. <laughs> so I want to show you guys a before and after of what my tan looked like. I think it looks so good and so natural. It's very even. There's no streakiness or weird patches. I'm overall super impressed with these products and I'm so happy that they're cruelty free. So thank you again to Tanceuticals for working with me in this video. If you are interested in any of their products, I will have their website in the description box below so you can check them out because like I said, they have a bunch of other things too. So I hope you guys are having an amazing summer so far. Let me know if you have any awesome plants coming up in the comment section below and thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!